Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power 6 is equal to x minus 6 bracket power of 6. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we'll take this x minus 6 bracket power of 6 into the left side. So it will be this, which is x power of 6. This to take to this side to be minus x minus 6 bracket power of 6 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here in the left side, we'll make in form of a perfect square. So x power of 6 into square, it is x power of 3 bracket square. Then minus x minus x bracket power of 6 into square, it is x minus 6 bracket power of 3 bracket again square is equal to 0. Then in the next step, now from here in the left side is in the form of a perfect square. So we'll apply perfect square rule, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket times bracket a minus b bracket. Then we'll apply this form of a plus b. It will be this inside the bracket plus this inside this outer bracket. So it will be this, which is x power 3 plus this here, which is x minus 6 bracket power 3 bracket again for this here, then times bracket a minus b. It will be this minus this. So it will be x power 3 then minus this here, which is x minus 6 bracket power 3 bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here we have two solutions, whereas this first solution, which is x power 3 plus x minus 6 bracket power 3 is equal to this 0. And this second solution, x power 3 minus x minus 6 bracket power 3 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from this first solution, not so from here this here in the left side from this first solution is in the form of a perfect cube. Here we have power of 3 plus and this this power of 3. So we'll apply a perfect cube rule in this form. Whereas this is in the form of a power of 3 plus b power of 3. Which is equal to a plus b bracket times bracket a square minus a b plus b square bracket. So we'll apply this form of a plus b. It will be this plus this. So it will be x plus this here, x minus 6 bracket, then times bracket a square. It will be this x square. Then minus a times b. It will be x times x minus 6. So here x bracket x minus 6 bracket, then plus b square. It will be this square, x minus 6 bracket square then this here bracket then it will be equal to this here zero then in the next step it will be from here x plus x it is 2x then minus 6 bracket bracket here it will be x square minus x times x it will be minus x square minus x times minus 6 it will be plus 6x then plus x minus 6 bracket square will expand this so it will be x square then minus 2 times x times 6 it is 12 x then plus 6 6 square it is 36 then bracket is equal to this 0 then it will be 2 x minus 6 bracket bracket from here, x square minus x square is 0. So this and this will, will cancel. So we'll be left with this x square. 6x minus 12x is minus 6x. Then plus this here, 36 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, we have two solutions. Whereas this first solution, 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. And this second solution, x square minus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. Now from this first solution here, I will turn negative 6 to this side to be 2x is equal to 6. 
so we'll divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to 6 divided by 2 it is 3 so this is the first value of x x is equal to 3 this which is the real solution x is equal to 3 now to solve from this quadratic equation here we'll solve by using quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be x is equal to minus b b is coefficient of x which is negative 6 then plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 6 bracket square minus 4 times a a is 1 times c is 36 then over 2 times a a is 1 then it will be x is equal to negative negative 6 it will be positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 square is 36 minus 4 times 36 to be minus 4 times 6 is 24 goes to 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 then over this time this is 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of this minus this to be minus here we borrow 1 to be 14 minus 6 it is 8 here to be 3 3 minus 3 it is 0 so here it will be so square root of negative 108 over 2 now it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus from here we'll find the factors of this so as we can find the square root because there are, there are numbers which are divisible so from here the factors of 108 so from 108 is divisible by 2 10 divided by 2 it is 5 here it will be 4 here by 2 again it will be 27 then by 3 it will be 9 by 3 again here it will be 3 by 3 here it will be 1 so because here we have square root so we'll put into squares so here it will be 2 times 2 here it will be square root of 2 square here 2 2 here we have 3 3's 1 2 3 so here it will be times 3 square then times 3 then times here negative here it will be times negative 1 then over this 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 2 square it is 2 times square root of 3 square it is 3 then square root of negative i negative 1 it is i so here times i then the, this square root of 3 so times here square root of 3 then we we'll divide by 2 we we'll divide into this part and into this part so it will be x is equal to 6 divided by 2 it is 3 plus or minus here 2 and this 2 will cancel so it will be 3i square root of 3 so into here we have two values of x because of plus or minus whereas this solution here it is marginally solution because it has i here then to solve from the second solution which is this this second solution here it is in the form of a perfect cube so we'll apply perfect cube rule with power of 3 minus this power of 3. So here this is in the form of a power of 3 minus b power of 3 which is equal to a minus b bracket times a square then plus a b plus b square bracket. So we'll apply into here we'll apply this form a minus b it will be this minus this so it will be x minus bracket x minus 6 bracket bracket then bracket a square it will be this x square then plus a times b it will be this times this so x bracket x minus 6 bracket then plus b square it will be this square so x minus 6 bracket square then bracket is equal to this 0 then it will be x here will take negative inside the bracket so it will be minus x minus and minus 6 it will be positive 6 bracket 
then bracket here to be x square x times x here to be x square x times nine minus six it will be minus six x then plus we expand this so to be x square minus two times x times six it will be twelve x then plus six square it is thirty six bracket is equal to this zero then from here x minus x it is zero so it will be here zero plus six which is six bracket then from here x square plus x square plus x square is three x square minus six x minus twelve x is minus eighteen x then plus this thirty six bracket is equal to zero then in the next step we'll divide by six in both sides so this and this will cancel so it will be this which is 3 x square minus 18 x plus 36 is equal to 0 divided by 6 is 0 then from this equation here quadratic equation it is divisible by 3 so we'll divide by 3 in all equation so 3 x square divided by 3 it is x square minus 18x divided by 3 it is minus 6x 36 divided by 3 it will be plus 12 then is equal to 0 divided by 3 it is 0 then from this quadratic equation we'll solve this by using quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be x is equal to minus b b here it is negative 6 so bracket negative 6 plus or minus square root of b square it will be minus 6 bracket square minus 4 times a a is coefficient of x square which is 1 times c which is 12 then over 2 times a a is 1 then it will be x is equal to negative negative 6 it will be positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 square is 36 negative 4 times 12 it will be negative 48 then over this time this is 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 48 it is minus 12 then over this 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 12 is same as square root of 4 times 3 times negative 1 here negative then over this 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 4 it is 2 square root of negative 1 it is i square root this here times square root of 3 then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part so it will be x is equal to 6 divided by 2 it is 3 plus or minus here this 2 cancel this 2 so it will be i square root of 3 so into here we have other two solutions imaginary solutions for the values of x so therefore our conclusion the first value of x is equal to which is this real solution here to be equal to it is equal to 3 the second value of x is equal to from here to be 3 plus 3i square root of 3 so 3 plus 3i square root of 3 the third value of x is equal to here when it is negative to be 3 minus 3i square root of 3 so 3 minus 3i square root of 3 the fourth value of x is equal to from here 3 plus i square root of 3 so 3 plus i square root of 3 and the fifth value of x here when it is negative it will be 3 minus i square root of 3 so here 3 minus i square root of 3 so we have five values of x into this our uh, problem to one real solution for complex solutions or imaginary solutions so let's check for this real solution of x is equal to 3 if we to satisfy our equation 
Now to check here for x is equal to 3, we substitute 3 here, it will be 3 power of 6. 3 power of 6 is it equal to 3 minus 6. So 3 minus 6 bracket power of 6. So to be 3 power of 6 is equal to this minus this is negative 3 bracket power of 6. Then it will be 3 power of 6 is equal to negative power of even number. It will be positive. So here it will be 3 power. This negative is positive. So it will be 3 power of 6. Now you can see left side and right side are equal. Then it is true for the value of x is equal to 3 and also the other complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.